This is Mike England with Agent Solutions. Today's video blog is about boosting your 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 Facebook posts, boosting your listings um, specifically, and what are the the pros and cons of doing that. Um, so uh, first of all, uh, you'll see that um, oftentimes when you post something, you'll get this this blue button that says boost post. Now some of the advantages of boosting a post is that it's really easy to do um, and that uh, you can you can pay very little in advertising uh, and, and you can reach the the people that that currently like your page and their their networks of people. Um, some of the disadvantages of boosting your post is you don't get to um, utilize some of the incredible targeting tools that Facebook has to offer. So I'm just going to kind of show you what a boost post will let you do. This page right here we have 1077 likes and so if I hit boost post you will have uh, this box that will pop up here and they're going to give they're going to show you what it looks like on a desktop and on a mobile device. Uh, they're going to give you people who like your like your page and their friends, people similar to people who like your uh, like your page, and people you choose through targeting. Now, um, if you do people who like your page and their friends, the advantage of this is that Facebook is pretty much um, taken away the ability to reach your uh, the people that like your page without paying for uh, paying to reach them without doing advertising or boost posts so um, you basically have to pay for any kind of engagement or interaction on Facebook for the most part uh, the so if we're gonna go ahead and choose this first one and then you can choose your location now they'll do country states cities um, however you want to do that and you have your maximum budget amount and they're going to give you an estimated amount of people that you're going to reach. Now, this is not the people that will click on it, but the estimated uh, people that you will that will be impress what they call an impression, where it will show up on either the right hand side or within their newsfeed. Um, on this one, it'll be on their desktop and mobile newsfeeds. Um, so then you can choose the the length that you want to boost your post for up to seven days, and then. Um, the account uh, that uh, you would like to run it under. So now we're going to switch to people similar, uh, people similar to people who like your page. So this could be, and our our page is built up of, I would say probably ninety percent of the people connected to our page. One thousand seventy seven people are are uh, real estate agents. So this would be connecting to people potentially that are in the real estate industry. Um, but we really don't, with a boost post, you don't really know these things for certain. So um, there's a lot of guessing that you do with boosting your posts, uh, and it's not, not really uh, as solid as actually just running ads through the Facebook Ads Manager. Um, so uh, again, you, you do the same kind of thing, your location, uh, your budget, your estimated reach. Now you can see that the estimated reach is 110,000 potential people. Now that is not very targeted. That is a, or 110 million people, sorry. That, that, is, that is too large of a number, in my opinion. That's where, where you kind of take away from the benefit of using Facebook ads. So I'm, not a, I'm really just not a big fan of boosting posts. Um, even though it is easy, you're really just not targeting people, which pretty much eliminates the reason why you would use Facebook ads. Um, people you choose through targeting. This one's a little bit better. So you could, you know, you can choose um, your location, your age, um, and you can add an interest. So interest could be maybe something that they, um, they've expressed interest in real estate. Uh, maybe they've expressed interest in, um, and home in in the terms just writing about their home so you know so I could write real estate here and that will uh, knock down my my estimated reach considerably to 13 million 
Um, but still, that's not as targeted based upon interest, where as if you use the Facebook Ads Manager um, and run an actual Facebook uh, campaign, you can target people according to their income level, um, how long they've lived in their residence. There's just a lot more options. So again, this this option of boosting a post, uh, if you're is good. Um, but but if you're like me, uh, you're gonna want to get the most that you can out of using fo Facebook ads, and that's by um, getting a larger targeted demog or, or a stronger targeted demographic group, and really being able to narrow that down. And that's not really something that is offered as well with boosting your posts. So I hope that makes sense. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact uh, Agent Solutions. Um, our phone number is on the top of the page or you can hit the, the contact button and email us. Um, also, if you guys are interested in free education, we offer free education in person. Myself and Justin Stutz, we can uh, fly out to your area. We also do um, webinars on a monthly basis um, and that's free as well so anyways i uh, hope you guys are having a great day and uh, look out for our next article will be about uh, post engagement through uh, your facebook page and how facebook has made some changes in the last six to eight months um, that has really affected your reach and so we're going to kind of go over that and what you can do to kind of uh, um, get the most out of your facebook page so again have a great day bye